All right, welcome back. This will be part 19 of the character ranking tutorial series. Uh, so in the previous videos, we've done all the skin weights for the main body of the character. And what I want to show you is how we can create skin and joints for any secondary objects you may have. So I have this cloth object uh, that's going to be draping on top of the shoulder. And what we need to do is create a joint system for this cloth that then connects to the torso or the body. So we're still going to have the pelvis as the root joint for the entire system, but then now we're going to build an entirely separate joint system for the cloth and then parent it up to this base joint system. So I'm going to turn off my joints for my body. Uh, and I might go ahead and turn off my joints for uh, my um, body so I can see just my cloth. So let's take my body and hit Control H to hide that. Uh, the eyeballs, I can have those as well. I need to do those right now. Uh, and work on some joints for the cloth. Uh, so anything that needs to move independently, like our eyes or this cloth or any other accessories you might have, we want to create at least one root joint for that object to move. Now if we want the object to move into a rigid structure, uh, like a brick or a hat or something like that, then we would just have one joint and then skin that object to that one joint. Now this cloth, we would want to make it move around and animate around in sub-pieces. Uh, like a natural cloth would. So we're going to need sub joints. So we're actually going to use smooth binding for this where we have still a root joint for the cloth and then we're going to add uh, secondary joints like a spider web type structure that are moving outward to the different areas of the cloth so we can animate the cloth as well. So let me go ahead and pull my joints back up and uh, I'm going to pull my body back on for a second so I can see where I might need to put a joint. So this video we'll talk about how to create joints then we'll come back for the next video and talk about uh, skinning of this piece of cloth. So from the front view, let's make sure we see our x-ray joint. Oh, I don't see my joints here. So let's go to show, show joints. There we go. Um, so my root joint for my cloth, I'm going to kind of put this in the middle, uh, something right there, but I don't want it to be right the same location as any of my joints for the body. So let's increase this to like three, let's say even five, let's say five, so we know that this joint is larger than my base body joints, and this will be used for my cloth. Um, so we'll retitle this one, joint cloth uh, root, okay, joint cloth root, okay, root. So that's going to be in the center of the body, okay, something like that. We can move it back some, but I want to keep it so it's not, doesn't look like it's attached right now to the um, the body joints. There you go. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll come back and parent it up to our body joints later. But what we want to do is create kind of like a spider web approach uh, outward from the center of the cloth to be able to animate the different areas of the cloth. So now let's uh, hide my body, turn off my joints. I have my body joints in a layer, so that's why uh, I can turn them on and off uh, easily. Alright, so from a side view we want to create at least one joint system kind of like an extremity for an arm down the center uh, consider I got one of the pointed areas in the center down the back and down the sides and I'm also going to create a couple of diagonal ones as well to allow me to deform that so let's duplicate this joint and pull this up to where the collar is of this cloth so about right there where the collar meets the center of the body there Let's make sure zero on the Translate X, zero on the Translate X for the original one as well. There we go. All right, so this is going to be the base joint for this front area. Uh, this middle one's going to be the base root joint of the entire cloth system. All right, so we don't need this one to be nearly as large. Let's do like a, I don't know, two or something like that. Let's do three, maybe that'll work. All right, so now we're going to duplicate and move it down. There you go, try to position it, and I'm going to try to create an even spacing between these. So something like that, that'll work. And then we're going to do one more down the bottom. What we don't want to have is too many joints. That will cause an issue as well. Um, so about four joints going down. Let's duplicate this one back, and this will be for where the back of the collar meets the cloth. And I'm just trying to position this as close as I can. Do something like that. Right there, but it doesn't have to be right on top of the geometry for the cloth. So we'll put this one right there. 
pull this one down to the bottom. Okay. Maybe we'll move this one down a little more. That'll work. All right. All right. So we're also going to put some. Uh, let's take the middle one and move it up. I'm duplicating and moving it up. I'll reduce that size as well. So three. I don't need these parented yet. Uh, and we will evenly dis disperse these throughout the scene here. So do that one, that one. Pull it down a little bit. Pull it down a little bit. There you go. Kind of hard to see. So we might want to move this one back some right there. Move that one back to the middle. Remember, we want to have a center of the mass like that. Good. And we'll duplicate this one uh, over. I might put a, in an extra one right here. So we'll pull that one up. And the one for the very tip of it, because that's going to be really good to kind of have that in there. Um, relatively, the geometry is mirrored, although the texture map is not. So I'm going to mirror this over horizontally later. So we'll do the left side and we'll mirror it over afterwards. All right, then it's probably going to be good to have a diagonal one here and a diagonal one on the back there. You can add as many as you need. Uh, but so this one will be like right here area, something like that. And then I'm going to put one diagonally right there. And this might just be something that we test and see uh, how many more we actually need. So I'm going to keep with my series of four as my default here. Go and we'll duplicate to do a final one down here. Something like that. There we go. All right, let's uh, duplicate again. We'll pull this to the back of the body. And move it up a little. So that will go kind of right there. Pretty good. And then we'll work our way to the back here. So we'll take that one, move it down, move it up. There we go. Duplicate. Move it down. We'll move it out this way. Here, that should be pretty good. And then we'll do one more at the end down here. Okay. Now I might need some more because this is a big area that we don't have a lot of skin weight that could be applied to it. But we'll start there at least to see kind of how this is going to work. All right, so uh, there's my root. And then now we just need to name things. So this is going to be the back. So we'll say back, B for back cloth. And then kind of remove all of this out. So it's good to name everything cloth one. And then we will try to copy this uh, back cloth two, back cloth three, and then four. Okay. Uh, this is the front. So we'll do F for front. Copy that. Do one at the end. So I'm just trying to keep it uh, consistent for, okay. All right, where is this? So this is the uh, left arm. So we'll do capital L underscore cloth. And we'll do one at the end. So we actually have five here, two, three, Four, five. All right. Uh, so let's say joint underscore left mid cloth. That'll work. Uh, one. We actually need to put front, so we can get a lot of indicators. So it's left front mid cloth. That's loaded name, but as long as you're gonna understand what they are. Uh, two. Three, four. All right, this is the back side, back mid. So we'll instead change left, back mid. Let me copy this. Uh, one, two, three, last one, four. There you go. All right, so now that we have all the joints positioned, we're going to come back through and make sure we rotate them. So this one just needs to be rotated to the next joint forward. 
something like that. We've got a class two, rotate it to the joint forward. Class three, that one's okay. Uh, did I have this backwards? Let's see. No. Yep, I think I do actually. So let's turn our geometry back on so I can see. I might have everything backwards here. Yep, so I, I labeled that one as back. That's really the front. So I'll pause the video. I'm going to correct the naming. Uh, then I'll come back and reorient uh, by rotating them and parent up. So let's pause. All right, so I corrected this. So my front four are on the front of the character, the back four are on the back of the character. Okay, so it's a simple renaming. Corrected that. All right, so the back joints, we just want to make sure we reorient these uh, so that way they face the next joint down. So I'm basically taking my rotate and making sure that these are facing the next joints. So now I'm going to go back some. Now I'm going to go forward just a little bit. There we go. Go to the side view or front view. Rotate this one down. Take this one down, take this one up, rotate this one back down. There you go. All right, uh, for my uh, mid joints, I want the joint to follow in length. Okay, so I'm going to rotate this way, and then also rotate forward some. There you go. So we'll rotate this way, and then rotate back a little. Okay, so we'll rotate this way in length. And then that was pretty good. And then the end ones on the corners, I still like to kind of rotate them. Let's do the same thing for the back there. So we'll rotate outward. Where's our next joint? There it is. It's right there. And we need to rotate backwards a little bit. Okay, here's this one. So we'll rotate this way. And we'll rotate back some. Should be pretty good. Uh, this one, we'll rotate this way. And rotate out just a little bit. And the last one down here will still rotate. And leave that like that. Should be pretty good. Now we're ready to parent up. So we're going to start for this away from uh, the root joint, which is this one in here. So let's, um, let's hide everything except for the joints. Okay, so this is the end cloth one uh, front. So I'm going to select the one above that. Shift select the one above that and hit P for parent. And then we'll select that third cloth joint to the second, P for parent, second to first, P for parent, and let's go to the mid one, one furthest outward to the next one up, P for parent. Keep process consistent here. So those arrows for the bone should always be pointing away from the root. Select these two, P for parent, and work our way up, doing the same command each one of these. So we got two in the back. So eventually it's going to look kind of like a spider or spider web. The legs of a spider maybe. Oops. Okay, on the back of the joints here. There we go. Alright, so now we need to connect all of these and our cloth back on here to the center joint. Okay, so each one of these we're going to parent up to that center cloth root. Okay, so that cloth root is going to be the root for everything. So this is the mid one, P for parent. This is the left arm one, P for parent. Back mid and back. So there's our half of our body root system there. Okay. Last thing we need to do is just mirror over. So we said left, left and left. So we're going to take these three, the center two we're going to leave, but I'm going to take the joints uh, for each of these major areas that are connected to that root joint, and then we'll go to skeleton, mirror joints in the option box beside it. We're going to do the Y, Z axis, the middle axis, we're going to search for capital L replaced with capital R. So even though it says left, it's going to be replaced with R. Do you apply? Too many. Oh, we can only do one at a time. So let's take one of these and do apply. There you go, that should pull it over there. And then we'll do the front one and do apply. And then we'll do the back one and do apply. There you go. So the error was too many arguments there. All right, so now we're just going to make sure that the right 
the joints are all changed properly. Yep, right front, um, right back, right cloth. So that should be good. All right, so now we have all of our joints for our cloth. It's all kind of spider webbed out from the center joint. The last thing we're going to do is find our body's joint system and take our root joint for our spider web cloth and parent that to maybe the shoulders joint right here, the center spine joint three. So let's take our cloth root joint and then shift select our joint spine for the body and hit P for parent. There you go. So what that'll do is when the body moves, it'll also move the joints for the cloth as well. Turn our body back on. All right, so now we're ready uh, to do skinnings. That's what the next video will be.